I'm John, this is Ed. Um, this well, is the I'll inaugural. I'll look for a suggestion. If anybody was not satisfied with what I do, go to yeah. the right. <laughs> And vice versa. It's more, more like a friend of mine. Vice versa, not fun. Uh, let me give you some insight, may I? Yes. You see, if you're working, if your font is good, I'm going to hate it. So let's get this straight. <laughs> Why would I tell you something is good if it's better than I could do? <laughs> Why would I do that? Now, if it's bad, I'm going to tell you it's bad. No, I don't want to do that either. If it's bad, I'll tell you it's good. You see, because like Mae West said, she's good. But when she's bad, she's really good. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Mae West was very selective. She only dated two kinds of men, she said, foreign and domestic. Very good. I love that. Uh, I will say another thing. This is hard to say. If you're designing a type for fun, that's good. Uh, are you going to be a doctor for fun? It's a hobby, that's not good. Uh, if you're going to design and find your, your type designer, good or bad, whether you're just a Mickey Mouse artist or what, it, it's, you're, you're doing it because you feel good about it. If you design something you don't like it, why are you showing it to anybody? That's like, don't like this. Taste this, it's terrible. <laughs> you take a drink and it tastes, it's terrible. You, taste, you want me to look at something or taste something that you think is, let's use the word it. But if you, if you design something, it's obvious that you like it. And if you like it, that's all that really counts. Now, then there's others who design fonts for money. That's nice money. Why would you design something unless you want to do something with it? Well, you could design it for your grandmother's funeral or for the, for the, for the, for the you know, like the, uh, what do you call it, the tombstone? Uh, by the way, tombstones, why don't you design your own tombstone? So you die, you know, your family's going to pick it from a letter from column A and column B, so why even talk about it? But nevertheless, you know, you say, what is going to happen when I die? What do you care? You're dead. <laughs> what do you care? Now, if you're designing for money, that's one thing. But if you're designing for you and for money, that's another thing. I just, here's the other thing, good luck. Because the, the, the world out there is just waiting for someone to design a font that everyone goes crazy for. I'm not talking about being forced to use it like Arial, but it's there. Mm -hmm. You gotta use Compact, it's there. Comic Sans, can you picture Ford Motor Company using Comic Sans for their logo? Yes, people think it's the most beautiful thing in the world. It is, to the guy that did it, or the women that did it, or the people that did it. Okay. Money-wise, it's the greatest thing on earth. Do you think that you're gonna walk over to the guy that designs Comic Sans and say, mm. you can't do that. He said, well, why don't you check with my, my uh, people that take care of my four Ferraris in my garage and the captain of my ship? That's what that person will say to you. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he was a Microsoft employee when he did that, so. Uh, it's good he, for him. He, he, he didn't get rich on royalties. Well, you know, we're talking about the ones that get rich. Maybe Matthew Carter has a few. Yeah. It's all both. Really, if someone asked me, what's the newest font going to be possible that's going to make a lot of money? If I knew that, do you think I'd be sitting here? <laughs> <laughs> I would be sitting here. Uh, I would be getting someone to draw this font. <laughs> uh, I'm in a good condition right now. I have, uh, I call it immaculate conception. It's really immaculate degeneration. Mm. I don't know whether you know what that is. Yeah. I won't go into detail. I but uh, if I draw a straight line, and there's dents in it. And if I try to fix it, then it's, then it's really dented. But I see well. I see very beautifully. And, uh, but I can't draw the way I'd like to anymore. You guys have the advantage of using a computer to draw with. I don't think I know how to do that. Uh, and I don't use a computer. I can draw it first, then I'll put it on the computer, put it into Illustrator and start sharpening it up and getting proportions right and making it look right. But I can't start with a computer. I, it's like looking at, it's like looking at what? Nothing. You just don't look at a screen and say, well, there's what I'm going to do. You've got to have some place. Even an architect makes a scribble or something beforehand. So I'm in a loss to the ones that can draw on a computer. I envy you. Now it's your turn. <laughs> well, I have one foot in the analog world and one foot in the digital there world. And uh, my first typeface was one that I showed to Ed and some of his colleagues in 1983 in Chicago. And, and uh, yeah, it was, you see, that was the year before the Mac. And so uh, we, were, we were in a room, Ed and I, we were the early risers, and uh, I walked into this meeting room, and he was the only guy there. And so he, he, and, I, he and I were, you know, <clears throat> shooting the breeze for half an hour or more until the, 
the latecomers came and, and we hit it off and I started asking, well, what would you do? I, would you ever like try to design a letter, like cut out paper and then sandpaper the edges? So I did that cut, that type grit. That's beautiful. Okay, that, that that's all tied together. You notice every letter connects to some other letter and that's cut out of paper. And this has been one of my tricks in shokai writing for a long time to... Uh, that's mine, you know. Yeah, I just gave that to Ed. You got so, to sign it up. Did, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that detail later. Your dial collect. So anyway, it was 1983, and a few months later, uh, Art Product News came out, and there's a big feature interview with Ed Bengat. I go, oh, this is great, this is great. And I turned to one of the back pages, and I'm profiled because he discovered me. So I discovered, you discovered yourself, this man had talent. <laughs> it wasn't, his, his talent was unnoticed by those who should have noticed. Well, no. really. Showed up, showed up to show a typeface, uh, expecting a crit, and uh, they gave me a commission instead. I had no idea where to go with this commission. So Ed and his uh, former employer, Ed Rothaler, uh gave me some guidance, and, and they were really good to me uh, during those well, those early early years. Well, I'll yeah, tell mid you there, mid eighties. Carol, <laughs> mid eighties. I tell you, Carol, you got a phone number that's been there for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Ronfeller. He lived to uh, be 102, 104, 104, 104 years old. And did TV commercials. Yeah. Founder of Photo Letter. And, uh, he wanted to be a, a preacher, but he stuttered. Really, he wanted to be a preacher. He was a, he was a Moravian uh, religion. I don't even know what Moravian is. It sounds something tricky. But they have it in North Carolina. We know that. Moravians? Yeah. Uh, that's where he came from, North Carolina. Yeah, I know. He was a Winston something, Mass Salem. Yeah. Okay, shall we do our thing? Yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, we tell me what to do. We're we're critics, and we've we've done this gig once before before in New Orleans. Uh, we had two fellow panelists, uh, Matthew Carter and Akira Kobayashi. Yes. And so uh, that was a type con thing. Uh, which goes on every year, usually without Ed, but whenever he attends, we invite him. I just drink a lot. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe we should have uh, an adult beverage before we no, start, no, no. start this credit. I'm only kidding. Okay. So, yeah, we are going to divide up, and Roberto is the master of ceremonies, and he'll, he'll direct traffic. Yeah. So, we're going to, like, to do, you know, you guys can choose between, like, no, which... Oh, to, let it take this yeah. ended. And then you take this ended. And so um, I get to know, uh, we're going looking for the, the list of who got the ticket first. Um, so Lindsay Barnett. Okay, so you can choose between Ed or Come John. On, John. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> and the next goes to John is uh, Doug Mountain. <laughs> Why don't we start right? I'm okay, going to win an interview with right. that thing. I don't have a piece of paper. Yeah, I'm going to go. It's a pleasure to meet you. What do I do? You just tell me what to do. Um, I don't know. What is this group of life? This is... <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, does it look like it? It's like a little less round. A little less round. I started... Okay. I drew a few letters by hand and then... That's all right. Well, you don't know very shape. much about proportions. That's important. That's where I'm having trouble. With some of them are so wide. Help you out right here. Great. Ma'am. Yes. Yeah. I'm using the simplest book. I'm using the simplest proportion in the world. Okay. Nine boxes. Couldn't put serifs on for you. Doesn't make any of what kind of serifs. Okay. Okay. Nine boxes. Okay. Let's start off. This is where the E goes all the time. So, we're going to make a letter E. Mm -hmm. we, we, we ought to get some more people at this table. Yeah, Are you supposed so. to be here? Come on over here. <clears throat> Proportion is something, I, I don't mean to be an educator. Yeah, no, that's good. But uh, it'll help you tomorrow. See, people have trouble People have trouble with proportions. They don't know how wide to make each letter. I mean, how wide, is it? How wide do you make well, the T next to the S? How wide is the Z? How wide is the W? Where do you get it from? Why is it the opening inside the V the same as the A? Uh, everything's screwed up. So here's the thing that uh, Morris Fuller Benton, I don't know whether you ever heard of him, uh, one of the finest type designers in the world. I uh, was a very good friend of uh, Max Menninger. And when Max Menninger said that everything he drew comes off Morris Fuller Benton, 
Remember, Germany was at war, they were wiped out. The only place was tight that was in the United States, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. So here you had an American who designed Franklin Gothic, who designed everything but the kitchen sink. Beautiful. So I went and looked up and see what he did. You know, stealing from people that you don't know is very good. Make sure they're dead. <laughs> so, this, so here's this box. It's called Nine Squares. This is on. This is at the Smithsonian. Uh, nine squares. They're supposed to be squares, doesn't mean. So the E is always up to there in the nine squares. Most of the other letters are in there. So if you make it, let's use Bedoni. If there's Bedoni, the E sticks out a little bit. We know that. It goes above the line. It's supposed to be a little higher. And you put this in here. And this stroke in the middle is right there. And this is a little above center. And you get this. And from the E, you got the E. You got the F, provided you make this serif a little longer than that one. You got the F, you got the L, you got the I, and we got the H. There it all is so far. That's pretty damn good. Okay, what else is this? The A is in there, I'll show it to you shortly. The B is in there, the C is in there, the B is in there, the E is So let's make a few. So if I wanted to make a D, I would put a round that's in here and a round that's in here. And I would go. It's a little heavy on the outs, heavier than a straight. A round is always heavier than a straight. And I don't mean to be an educator, but this will stop a lot of... So there's the D, and the B is in here too, as you can see. The R is in there, you see it? Can you all see the letters? So we got A, which you put two, two, you put a dot here and a dot here, you go from here to here, from there to there. And you repeat this weight, which is the distance from here to here is not the same as the distance from there to there. So you have to take this distance, put it on its side, and there's the A, and the cross bar goes in there. Okay, so now you have the A, the B, the C is in here too, it's all in there. The D is in there, the E is in there, the F is in there, the G is in there too. Let's look at it, let's put it over here so you can see it clearer. Put those same lines, nine lines of squares. Supposed to be square, so if the G is in there, here's the round. Here's the round. It goes outside the line. Rounds are bigger, thicker than, you know, rounds have to be a little bit more wider than straights. Because you see, when you had a straight and it went from here to here, you're missing this part. In other words, there's the straight. See the straight underneath the letter I? And the round goes above the line, too, and below the line. So there's the G. Watch it come around here. This goes right where the E went, and there's the crossbar. So the G is there, the H is there, the I is there, the J is there. The J is the U backwards, the U is has to wait on this side. I have the U. Go like this, you can flop it. You see it's a J. The K is, we don't talk about the K. Nobody cares about K. I, you can't think of a word with K. K is a funny letter anyways. Whenever you use a word with a K in it, it's funny. Like funky, donkey, monkey, chunky. <laughs> so you forget the K for the while. You'll figure that out later. The yellow's in there, but it's a little shorter than that E was. Because it'll be too long. The M is in there. Where's the M? How wide is an M? It's been an M here. Nobody knows how wide to make an M. Five strokes. How to make an N. This is the E right here. The end goes from here to here. Then you go from here to there. Put that in there, and there's your M. Your M is in here. Nobody knows this. I, I stole it. Mars full of Benton. He said, here's the M. You go from here to the E. There's the E. You see the E right there? Remember that line I showed you before? Mm -hmm. when I put the, so then you put a dot in the middle. You connect this dot and this dot. Go from there to there, and then take this and put it the other way. The M is right out there. So if you look at this quickly now, you can see that the letter D is not even related to the B, because it's supposed to be the same amount of inside in both of them. The only thing is the bottom of the B sticks out a little further. The E is not related to anything at all. Because if it were, it would fit inside the H right to there. Yeah, actually, The K, forget it. The L is an E. Did you get it from the E? I did, yeah. The M, why did you do this with it? Now you can't line up anything on the left. Mm -hmm. You're making it so people don't want to use it because that's why, mm -hmm. that's why Frutiger made a new fuse. Straighten the M out mm -hmm. because if you want to line something out on the left, it's always crooked. Mm -hmm. So you make it as an old thing. Mm -hmm. okay.
I know this was done by within most mm -hmm. of it because you can see it's uh, and the horizontals uh, which you picked up all the way through on the on a, on a level that they're the same. You didn't draw them all, did you? No, no, no. You yeah, yeah. Them up. I picked them up. That's yeah. pretty nice. It's a footprint. Mm -hmm. But who said the footprint is the same? I think the lower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but nevertheless, the footprint that a letter makes has to match all of them. But what they have matched them too perfectly, it becomes monotonous. Mm -hmm. That's why Gamma is such a beautiful font because the artist did little things. So all in all, it looks like Cooper Black. Now why do you want to do something that looks like something else? Somebody is going to say, you stole it, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Stealing is good. Okay. <laughs> but make sure Mr. Cooper is dead, and he is. I think he's dead, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Cooper is to steal is good. But it doesn't good. have the rounded, well, like, bottom and the, okay. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah you're, no, you're right. right. I see it. Oh, I, I yeah. see it. Yeah. But it's Cooper Black. Okay. Now what are you going to do to fix it? That's a good question. Yeah, to fix it, yeah. why don't you make Cooper Black casual? Why does it have to mm -hmm. be lined up? Why can't it be a casual letter? Instead of doing it that way, why don't you try blowing up each letter? Make the leaf. I'm going to blow it up now. Let's make the leaf. Okay. I'm going to blow up each letter. I want to do the letter E. It looks like this. No, but of course you can do it more carefully. I'm just doing it quickly. And that's your eight. Now it's casual. Two minutes. So you take the whole thing and casual it up. And you'll have a font of your own. Mm -hmm. And you can do it big. By the way, if you can't do a fast straight line, try a new kind of line. Let me show you the new one. If you can't draw a smooth line, mm -hmm. which a computer can do it, but you can do the jagged line. You just do this. People say to me, how do you draw a long straight line? How do you make a Spencerian script line? Mm -hmm. You know, it gets thick and thin. You have to draw on the outside and the inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's too much trouble. So in order to draw a good line, you have to put the pen down and never lift it. If you lift it, you're going to have to put it back. And that's, you're not, it's like threading a needle twice. Mm -hmm. But you have to take it. You've got to stop somewhere. So when you, if you jiggle it, you're just jiggling like this. You find that if it's all jiggly, there's no putting it back. <laughs> but I would suggest one suggestion mm -hmm. is draw something that you did. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the lower case. <coughs> it's very Cooper. Mm -hmm. Did you use Cooper as a model? No, I actually didn't. I drew the M, the N, um, and the A, and you and from there, then I Okay, the lowercase has the same rule <coughs> as the caps. Okay. Let's go to the rule on the lowercase. Mm -hmm. It's three lines. One, two, three. By the way, you, you can change these. Are, I, did you, I did a geometric one. I'll start with doing two, two lines, doing it this way. This is two lines close together. Mm -hmm. Now I'll go back to that same letter E before. And we'll go in the middle, and there's the E goes here. See? It changes. Yeah. Now, with the lower case, which are over here now. Yeah, thank you. Put a line in the middle. Mm -hmm. Here's a letter E. It goes above the line. Below the line. Out here. Mm -hmm. Here. And here. Everything <coughs> on Earth. Every, thank you. Everything on Earth has to be bigger on the bottom. And on the top, if you don't, it'll look upside down. Mm -hmm. Like when you put something in a picture frame, uh, you want the bottom to have more space than the top, otherwise it looks upside down. So you have to stick out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And there's your letter E, and your letter C is right there. Mm -hmm. And the letter S. It's right there, see? You're all in there. Okay. Yeah, you don't have it. You lost it. We have that can now. Right. Okay. We, we are going to switch. You know, uh, because we only have ten minutes for each okay, person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you, if you want to look more into this mm -hmm. before you all leave, I'll give you my email address. You can write me, and I'll send you a chart. Oh, okay. send you, okay. I'll send you a frequency chart, which I designed but stole from Morris Fuller. <laughs> <laughs> really, I'll be a pleasure. Yes. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Should I take your 
place. Yes, yeah, please do. Do you mind if I film your? Not at all. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Yes. Hi, Mr. Baby. My dad. My name is Duncan. Cool. Duncan. Such a good name. Thank you. Duncan McMahon. <laughs> I thought, given the style, I was curious what you would Let's look at this carefully. <laughs> Why is it so small? <laughs> uh, there's a good theory. If it looks small and looks good, you want to look at it bigger. I'm a man, and you guys are men, and you guys, you guys are women. When you look at a guy, you don't want to see him this small. You want to look at him, you want to see what it looks like. Got a big ass, got a big butt, got a big torch. You want to look it over. I, I can't see this. Maybe we can blow this up. Maybe Cal can blow this up. Do you have a copy? No, we can. Uh, yeah, we have, I have a zero. Can we blow yes. this up? Yes. Just blow it up 125, 150. Okay. Hi. Right. Good it's good. By the way, people say if you work small, you don't have much to do. It's small. Right. Who said so? You've got more to do because if you start digitizing, you can't, you can't digitize it this small because the curve only goes this far. You can't even use Icarus. You know what Icarus is? You plot it. Where are you going to plot? You follow what I'm talking about? I don't know what Icarus is. Icarus is a program that uh, you take the shape of it and you put, you put, if I'm going to draw a box, I put a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot there, a dot there, and then it goes automatically. So if you have a circle and you don't have a big enough it's not going to be balanced. It's going to say, I can't see the dots too oh, big for what it's, yeah. it's being placed at. Well, I think you're good. <laughs> I'm not a good one. There are other programs, I think, uh, you, know, you, know, you can just go on your computer and put, I want, it, I want to digitize something. You can get about sick. You know what digitizing is, don't you? Yeah, that's the big ball break there. <laughs> yeah, it really is. That's the problem. Kerning is easy. You know what kerning is? Yeah. Kerning is easy because you take a font that looks like yours and you kern it the way that font <laughs> that looks like yours. Like many of them, Bedoni, or Bedoni Condensed, Bedoni, Haslon, uh, almost all of the ATF fonts. So that's wonderful. 125. Thank you very much. This is my first project. It's all right. It's, a, it's, a, it's very good. Thank you. Your proportions are good. Looks like you got them from somewhere else. Where did you get the proportions from? I'm, I don't know where you look for proportions. Proportions how wide the letter is relationship. Well, I started with a sketch. Okay, I will say this much. I like it. Uh, do you like it? I do. I like, like the lowercase more than I like the uppercase. You see, you would be one of the first people that I know that would make a capital S and a small s looking different. They usually don't, but that's all right. Do you know if it lines up? Did you? Is it lining up? Um, you mean on the baseline? Yeah, I would say it's that. on the baseline. What about the rounds? Are they big? The rounds are overshot. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not very over. much overshoot, but that's well, you don't know until you see it in a word. That's true. Okay, I, I think this is a very nice alphabet. I just don't think that you would, you would want to have. A little banged off serif over here, you know, missing in the. Did you did you use the same serifs all over? Yeah. It's all right. Well, some of them are some of them are longer than others. It's all right. That's okay. It has a very casual look with it. When I say casual, the serifs are not bing, bing. They're like a raised up. I think if a word was made in this, let's make a word, make believe. Yeah. The W screwed up. I'll show you how to fix that. A couple of letters on the wall. Uh, when I say a word, if this is a word, say a, a, a notice I made this serve the same, the M would be over here. I'm just doing this quickly. And this could go down. So they're up and down, they lock into each other in an interesting way. I, I like this. What do you call this? I call it Greer. Okay, I'm going to make this. What's your name? My name's Duncan. Duncan. Yeah, that's a good name. I said that before. Thanks. Um, here's what I would do, Duncan. I'd get it up bigger, look to see what other people have done. And I'll tell you what the font that you can look at is Bedoni Campanile. Or onyx. No, onyx is too ugly. You see, and, and there's some ugly faces. You see, you don't want to make a W with this point here and then a square here, because if you're using it in a word, you, you want it, you want it to look balanced with. You know, you have, and there's William W. William Williams Williams W I L L I W M S. There's an M. 
there are two W and the capital letter should look like the lowercase. But why don't you try this? You can write it. But don't need extra bold condensed. Use that as the key. As a key for color, for, for proportions. And you can't lose. Because I wouldn't give you a typeface that wasn't a winner to steal from. And by the way, Bedoni Extra Bold Condensed is public domain. So if you want to steal it. <laughs> it's very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Who else are we going to put on the block here? Uh, we still have the more minutes. If you want to turn it, there's the, nothing else. So we'll go the add three. That is Greg. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Don't Before I go, I'll give you my email, all of you my email address. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll give it to you all now. Yeah. Don't send me Hawaii you and everything. <laughs> <laughs> my mother's father, my mother's father's door just has a baby. Cat. Hmm? Oh, no, no. I'll give you my email address. Just say, put on the email, just say TDC. Just say something that reminds me of here. And then I'll answer right away and I'll send you a sheet proportion sheet that was designed by Morris Fuller Benton that I claim I designed. <laughs> I'm being honest with you, I don't want to vote you, so I fixed it all up. Okay, my email address is ed, ed, no, e bengat, e bengat, b-e-n-g-u-i-a-t-1 at aol.com. And I'll be delighted to send it to you. Thank but you. please don't give me a whole thing about your mother's and mother-in-law's <laughs> pregnancy or anything like that. <laughs> okay, have fun. Let's see the next person. Please. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I have quite a bit here. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have two different uh, designs here. I digitized them all already. Yeah. <laughs> And this is, uh, there are a couple different weights, but this is sort of everything that run out of Let's start off this way, this is very nice, but I want you all to know that all horizontals on this earth that are the same as verticals, that the horizontal will look heavier, always. And the top of a, of a letter that has a horizontal, and the bottom of a letter that has a horizontal, the top one will look too heavy if they're both the same. Things on top will always look heavier than things on bottom. That's the reason why you make an eight with a bigger bottom, otherwise they look upside down. Okay, let's look at this. I like it. I mean, it doesn't mean it's good, I like it. <laughs> something out there. Mm -hmm. um, a little something, maybe, I don't want to draw on here, but uh, you know, a little schmutzig, a little schmutzig. Mm -hmm. Use the same serifs all over. I think it looks very pleasing. I wouldn't use it though. <laughs> no, no reflection on that. The reason why I say I wouldn't use it because I see that words together are going to give you a problem. Yeah. The R is too narrow for the D. Mm -hmm. See, the C is too wide for the L. There's two kinds of proportions. The classic proportion and the modern proportion. What's modern? You don't know. Let's put it this way. We're going to go to uh, Pompeii or Rome. You know, when, when they, just before the volcano. And there's this nice married couple. They just got married. Mind you, in the period of Pompeii, when, when uh, Ben Hur was being raced around, you know that period? And the wife says to the husband, they just got married. What kind of furniture do you want? I think I have modern. Well, what's modern of the time? And so, or maybe a little bit ahead, if you could think that way. 
Or someone says, well, I know where you are. They didn't say I want Italian provincial. <laughs> you know that. Well, they said, what is it? What does that mean? Well, it only means that taste. What's taste? If you like vanilla and I like chocolate, am I going to say that's no good? A taste is taste. You can't argue with taste. If you like chocolate, and I say, how could you eat it? In your mouth, it makes a thing of it. You can't do that. But I will tell you one thing. If it doesn't smell good, it probably isn't good. <laughs> that the typeface doesn't have a smell. <laughs> okay, why don't you make the H a little narrower? You get into proportions. But I like what you've done here. I'm going to write it over here. It's called contracted and expanded. This is contract, expanded. I often do that trick, but I do it more for a style that has sex. Because when you have absolutely no thing here, the eye looks around the Or you make, so you make two of each letter, one contracted and one expand, expanded, so that you can change the thing and you can go with the same thing here. Now, first, I want a normal. This is normal. See it? Same letter. We can't do it with you. We're all over the place. You got a wide one, you got a narrow one, you got a tall one, you got a... So make two two letters. And you, what do you call the thing? I don't know. Call it... <laughs> okay, let me look at the rest. You got a lot of them here. Yeah. <laughs> now you can't do this. See this and this one. Why don't you do something here and here? Mm -hmm. Like another... Uh... Yeah, well, rhythm is the name of the game. Otherwise, you would have a typeface called Mixy Maxi, where you have an A from Bedoni and you got a C from Caslon, but you're not sure. You got to, by the way, that's a nice thing you've done here, but nobody goes that way. <laughs> it's a good idea. I'll give you an idea. How about for doing a word, a W with a swing around it? A W. Why a W? Bacon and tomato with onion. <laughs> with, 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 with the word with. It's a nice thing. It started a new thing. W. You know, it says you always see on the menu. It says bacon and eggs with no eggs. Send it side up with bacon, with tomato, with and it's all different prices. Try a new thing. Yes. It's all right. You don't have to draw two of these for type. Draw one and they repeat it. Let's go into another area. Words. You all know how to write because you know the schools now are not teaching writing. They're teaching printing. You're not going to have signatures anymore. Well, you're not going to have any money anymore either. And there isn't going to be anything but a credit card, and they'll send you a bill, and you'll pay it. Now, you won't use money. But the interesting thing to do is when you have words and there's an apostrophe, remember this. Dot your I's and cross your T's, and then comes apostrophes. The apostrophe is not a space. When you write the word America, it's A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S. I'll just quickly write it here. A M. E R I C A S. Isn't that you put your apostrophe when you finish? Why would anybody do this? I R I C A S. Is that the way you write? <laughs> Nobody. So why are you doing it in type? Type is nothing more than a throw off of calligraphy. The calligraphers wrote and they put the apostrophe in when they were finished. So if you're going to use an apostrophe in type as a word, uh, don't leave a space. But sometimes you have to leave a little space because you need it. Your, your ampersand is falling. Mm -hmm. I think you should have your five. The space character looks right. Have that. Oh, a little extra like that? Yeah, yeah. A little extra weight. You have a little softness. And you can have your seven. When I did this, see, you got the weight there. I'm exaggerating what you've got. What else? You don't need no shit. The two is a, is a question mark. Did I tell you that? 
the numbers have a relationship to each other. What is this? Oh, this is spacing strings and things oh, like that. You don't need to. <laughs> yeah, the others are just extra weights. Uh, or extra weights. Oh, we got another guy that's into this. What is this, Bookman or something? It's, well, it's, uh, it's like, I guess it's similar, but, uh, yeah, it's just the extra proportions, right? You see them in there? They're, the B is in here. Got it, got it. They're all in here. See, there's the letter. Do you have a no? I'll put his O in here. I'll make, I'll make it into the donut, same thing. Okay. Is in there. They're all in there. That's what's beautiful. An alphabet is like a picket fence. If you have a picket over here, there's going to be another one down there. And if they're all different, if you try to put the spaces in the picket, they're all, usually you take, you know what a picket fence is, don't you? Well, a picket fence, you use a picket to make the space. You follow me? You put, a, you put the one over here, like you do this. You put one over here, and you put the space, and then you put another one there, and you take the piece out. Now, we had a house in a place called, what the hell was it? And my father put a picket fence up, but there was a little bump on one of the, on the spacing thing, so all of the pickets started to lean. And so we said, son, here's what you do. Turn the picket upside down and start going the other way so that it evened it out. <laughs> Never did work. <laughs> so, next. Hi, Ed. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? To see you. I took a class at SVA like five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Have lunch. Have a lunch. Thank you. Uh, David. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is like an ultra Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need it for? Just, just because there's nothing. Um, I just want like a more graceful alternative to the donut poster. Well, you're certainly accomplishing it. I like it. But the idea is that if you want to do anything with it, you're going to have, a, you're going to have all of these companies that you send it to, like, uh, like Linotype, Linotype, ITC, uh, uh, to uh, Eric Spegerman and all these people. And they're going to say they have it. It's very, very nice. You know, the fact, it's a very good job blowing up a little bit and a little touch up here and there. Uh, you'll need an alternate F. Because you see, can I write on here? Yeah, yeah. If you have an F. As I'm moving this tail out, you can prepare a chair. It's doing this. Better balance. You know, so it isn't in this posture. It's more. And the letter I is over here. You know, where are you going to put the dot over the I? <laughs> so you need a thing that looks like this. It's called a ligature. Yeah, the texture is quite a few of them. You might even want to try some old style. The dot of the I is right over the I. You can find it in a typo. <laughs> You need connect over here, which is a Baskerville cookie. It's all right. I happen to like this very, very much. Your proportions are right on the money, except for the four, which looks like it's getting ready to sink in the river, which I left the bottom off. But actually, it's very, very nice. It needs a little work here and there, but of course, this is probably a yeah, don't believe you have the italic. True italic. Yes, that's one. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. You know, there's another thing. Remember, type is in slugs of metal. So the metal slugs for italics were square. Okay, so when they did an A for a letter, it fit into a square. So the italic T. Fit in there, you see? And when they put the next letter in. Which, which also had to slug down below because you know, these I'm not doing, I'm just doing the letter slug. Mm -hmm. A full slug of metal was this big and the letter only fits in here. And so the cap went to here and the sender went to here. Now, how does the point size derive? From the highest point on a metal slug to the lowest point on a metal slug. So there were typefaces that looked like this. And the slug for that letter so that, I mean, forget what I do here, I'll put it over here. Here's a typeface. Two letters. The slug for this letter, for the letter H, is this big. And the slug for the letter G is this big. The reason why they had to do that is because they're going to put the two slugs together and have to line up. So, 
since the letter G, we're now in photo composition or in digital composition, there's no metal. In other words, no worry about it, we can overlap letters. Well, here's a slug, look. If we put our letter G into a slug, the bottom of it, I'll make a big slug so you can see, it is the G. Now we put the letter G in here, and we have to put it in the slant. It's gonna go here, and we can't fit the ball in, so we can cut it short. See how it's cut short? It wants to go back over because there's a dotted line. You see? Mm -hmm. So it gets, So you don't have to do that. Uh, you can find that out by, by looking at the work of people who have done digitized, I mean, the, the digital alphabets, the forms that are using for the use of the computer. So that you can find. I think, I think this is good, but it's, but it's, it's ultra Bedoni italic. <laughs> That's all it is. And you drew it all? Oh, that's a lot of work. You see all the work and for a fine, can you, you, can, you can grab your own computer right now, go in there and look up uh, Bedoni Bold Condensed or Bedoni Italic, Ultra Bedoni Italic. Ultra Bedoni is made for people that can't draw. <laughs> Bedoni never drew Ultra Bedoni. There's no circles in Ultra Bedoni. Everything is compass. Here's the old. See, here's the I, the, 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 the E, no compass, nothing, nothing. Bang. 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 And then someone came along, that's because the original one had beautiful hawks in it, which is what you have. But there's somewhere along the way someone said, I don't know how to draw with it. I don't know how to draw it. Don't we get these? So they use straight. Everything's straight. So what did the letter S look like? Fits into the rectangle. Let's put it right here. That's it. Only one round. So, so this is the better version. So yours is Ultra Bedoni. Uh, I would suggest you don't go any further with it unless you want to use it for yourself. You want to sell it? Would you like to make money with it? Draw something that no one saw. How do you do that? How do you draw something no one saw? I can take you to a place, a nation that will really show you, how, a nation that will tell you how to do it. If you want to do something that no one ever saw. You want to know where the nation is? Imagination. Do it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's a great place. Who else do we have? Okay, so now we're going to have uh, after Lynn. Who was it? Sorry, uh, Lynn was. Yeah, I'll hang so on with you five, five, if you know, after uh, one. Uh, maybe you feel like sending me one you finished so I can say it's no good again. It's John. <laughs> everything I've John, seen is John. good. Photograph of process recognition. So this is the intended use I would make a um, side drop that's not digital, that I can use for personal correspondence or not digital. How do you, do, how do you make personal correspondence? Oh, no. I'm on a photocopy. Yeah. On a photocopy? Yeah. I just, just want to make the paper. Right. Right. Is it for you yeah. personally? Yeah, yeah. Or just yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not what you mean. <laughs> uh, most typefaces are based on two wits, the thick and the thin. Get that picture now? To put a third weight in a font is pretty tricky. In other words, there are only two weights that would, it could be fat against uh, a thinner stroke. So may I write on this? I'll give you an illustration. This is the letter E. Plain Larry. These parts are arms or legs. They don't count. That's just the other part. The body is what counts. So this is a letter E. But we're not in his style yet. But we're going to go to your style. The next yeah, letter E. We're going to add, make it a heavier horizontal. So we're going to go out here like this. We're going to add this. We're going to go over here and we're going to add this. 
we wind up with a letter that basically has got two ways. The weight of the seraph, the seraph and the body. Now, we have to either use one of these two weights. Now let's do a letter N and see if the two weights are here. Oh, you, did a, you don't have an N. You got an N? Okay, we're going to put an N here. We're going to use the first weight, which is the thin stroke. And now the second way, we've got to put this over here, and it's in the thick stroke. And then we go back to the thin stroke again. So now we have the two weights. Let's go to the first letter I drew from here. All letters, including ones that are hairline. Here's the heavy weight, and here's the thin weight. The heavy weight, thin weight. Heavy weight, thin weight, heavy weight. Let's do in that letter N. Thin weight. It doesn't make any difference if that's so they're not thick weight. Thin weight. You see, so they all have a weight. To make them even weight, they'll never look even. A no is not a compass swung. O's are thin. All things on the top and bottom, if they're to be the same, picture this. All things, top and bottom. That's these lines going this way, even a part of an O. All things that are top and bottom should look the same as the sides, but all things that are horizontal tend to look fatter. So you have to make them thinner. So if you were making, I'm going to exaggerate, if you made a letter O, watch what you would be doing. <coughs> See, I, I pressed. <laughs> you have to make that a little heavier. So you have three weights. I never saw a fun in my whole life with three weights. Look, there it is. Okay. That's thinner than that. You have, you have look at these bottoms are not the same as the top. Mm -hmm. So the way you draw this letter is really simple. Let's just take that out. <coughs> don't don't kill yourself. The way you would make this letter is you draw a line here, draw a line there. You get a line here that's just a trifle heavy, which is the bottom. Just a pitch. Mm -hmm. Those are the thin strokes, but the bottom one should look heavy, otherwise it'll be upside down. Okay? I made it. Actually, I got it upside down here. Bottom one. <laughs> and then to make a letter I, you do this, you do this, then here comes the heavy one. And you do this. And if you want a letter L, you go over here and you put this. Heavy. You match this. You got it? Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what is your concept here? Do you want to use it just for you? So it would be, I would photograph that on the photocopier, reduce that. And in other words, you would have every things. letter in the alphabet yeah. like this. Yeah. Why would anybody do that? I would do it. Well, for what purpose? Um, Are you going to have a thousand a day doing here? <laughs> just experimentation. Can I fix this? Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter, you can make it as heavy as that if you wanted. Mm. But the top should be the same. I don't, I don't, I, I really, maybe you got something going because I, I'm, I'm not a shark. You know that program, The Shark on television? I'm willing to invest in money in a guy that has an idea or a lady that has an idea. What would you want to do? I said, don't be a picture. Whisper in my ear, tell me. Are you Jewish? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Jewish. I don't tell anybody. I'm not Jewish. <laughs> In other words, you're going to take this and say I want a word. Yes. You're going to take the letters from your file and put them in there. And yes. The style of type you've designed. Yeah. So that it's mine. Well, it won't be a file. It would be uh, a master sheet like this. Well, how are you going to get these letters? Put them there. It's around. Mm -hmm. No, you're not going to draw each one, are you? Each person? Like if my name is Ed, I would take an E and a D and put it together. Right. It's not a rectal dysfunction. It's just Ed. Yeah. Okay? Now, can you see this looks upside down to you? Mm. Because the top looks heavy. Let's turn it up. Let's look at it for real. I'm going to turn it around and let the light go through it. And now the E will probably look okay. Now the E looks 
Uh, see, I'm just, I, I'm not interested in the letter. The letter is fine. The letter form is fine. But I'd like to know what you're going to do with it. Because completing of an alphabet font is based on what you're going to do with it. For example, if you're going to use engraving for jewelry, you would want the font to have a place to put that jig of it. You know, they go back and forth and the prints over here. You ever see when they do a jewelry or a suitcase? They, they, they've got a pantograph. And you're going to take this. My name, I want the word hello. Right? You're going to give it to me, right? Mm -hmm. What do you give me? I'll give you this pistol. You give me that? Yeah. <laughs> I pay you for it. I give it to you. No, I don't know. If something is free, it's worth it. And you're going to draw several fonts or this font to do it. That font to do it. Go right ahead and do it. I don't know where you're going to go with it, but if you can figure it out, let me know and I'll invest. Okay. Got any rough idea? What are you going to do? Have a studio that does this for people? Or? Uh, no, I'm not saying it as a, a big project. I see it as oh, personal. Right. That's a good idea. Definitely. Your family, friends, that's a good idea. Right. In other words, it's a family plan to a personal deal. I like it. Check out Clarendon. Right on here. Mm -hmm. I'll spell it for you. It's saving a lot of work. It's personal. What the hell is it? That's C-L-A-R-E-N-D-O-N, Clarendon, by Jerry Kaur. That's the name of the guy that drew Carol. Carol's not here. Is Jerry Kaur still alive? I'm not sure. Perhaps. Perhaps. I don't think he is. No. No. Who said that? I did. that up there to tell you with that down there? <laughs> <He's dead>. Done. <laughs> Poor Jerry. But he's dead. He doesn't know what we've been talking about. You know how you all worry about what's going to happen to my collection of stamps? What do you care? You're dead. <laughs> you know, I mean, if I knew I was going to die tomorrow, I'd tell everybody to go themselves. What am I going to do? Put me in jail? I would rob a bank. I would give you all the money. I mean, you can do anything you want. You're dead. Okay. Have a good time. <laughs> Clarence. Come to four weeks. Next person, please. Is this your pen? No. I don't know whose pen I'm using. Sure. Yours. Yours now. Term Mitch. 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 Now remember, things are not bigger on the bottom, they don't look too small. So you right away you made the R as it is, which looks better. What do you put the next is better? Want to do yours? Now I'm going to do mine. Here's the back. Because it's, it's doing this, it's trapezoid. Every letter has to be trapezoid. By trapezoid, it has to fit in this. But if people say, well, how can an E fit in there or an H? It doesn't. Only letters that need it. So if you have an E, the top one ends here and the bottom one, so the E looks like this. It sticks out a little bit further. Or just a little bit. Okay, whatever way. What do you call this? Um, unnamed the right so figuring that out. I call it almost area. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. Uh, uh, you want someone to purchase it? Or no. no? I want to use it for you. studio type this. Yes. For you? So, my office is own type this. Yeah. What say that again? My, this is the typeface for our office. So, what well, do you have to draw one for? There's so many nice ones. Well, someone else can use that one. Yeah, but why don't you take one that someone did and modify it? Because then I, don't, I have to learn, I want to learn how to do it too. So. All right. That's a good reason. I like that reason. Yeah, that's why I want to do this. It's that's kind of that's a good reason. So that's technically the whole reason for this exercise. Okay, let's fix what we can, okay? It's, it's a lot to fix, so. <laughs> okay, first of all, you want to trapezoid some of the letters. I'll check that for you. I think also that your word space needs to be That's good. You see, it's a little pattern. You know, if I do this. There is also 
the angle of the paper. Uh huh. Going on an angle. Okay. Never do it the other way too. You don't have the whole plant in this one. You got to fix. Yeah. See, you got to fix. Just bring it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not so. You see it? It's too much. It's got to feel it. If you can see it sticking out, it's stuck out too much. It's like a bad bass player. Exactly. See, it's good. Your proportions are very nice. The Q. Q is a very beautiful letter. Why don't you take advantage of it? I mean, nobody uses a Q anyway. Uh, I did Qantas Airlines, and I just used the Q, and I left the U out for Qantas. Uh, go to town, man. Let it let it happen. It's, it's your fun. You know it. If you use the, if you ever have a word, and there's a Q, and he said, "We did that." Uh, uh, what's his name? Owned the Greek airline. Onassis. Uh -huh. Onassis owned the Greek airline, and. Uh, Greek letters had two letters that were very well known, which was the A, E, and the only. This is Greek alphabet. They're, those are letters in the alphabet. They're not <coughs> tricks. You see, most people think they're tricks, like Herb Balance, uh avant-garde, which is saying trick, but still, it's still a letter in the alphabet. Mm -hmm. But we did a logo for his, for his line, he had a Greek ship line, and the Herb put these two letters in there from the alphabet in Bedoni, or whatever font it was, and they thought it was all theirs. It's been theirs for years and before anybody was even around. So uh, I, I like this. Can you lower the F a little bit? Get the crossbar a little lower so that it doesn't have a hole. Okay. Now we'll look at the lower case. Um, get your pins a little thinner on the tops. You see, look. Mm -hmm. it's a little, and watch your trappers or you went too much. See the A? You're right. Now you know it. Mm -hmm. smart ass. I know you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. This is a, the, thank you for seeing it, really. Let me show you in there. Watch out for your the horizontals. This is good, good. I can't say anything negative about it. It's got to be something. No, really, it just has to be put together. You're, you see, there are certain things that I can't, you feel. People say to me, how do you know when it feels right? Well, when it feels right, that's when it feels right. Well, this mean, is how do you know when you finish peeing? Think about it. This how do you out. know when you finish peeing? <laughs> well, it just, oh, I finished. <laughs> you don't know. What's it just happening? ends. Maybe it goes drip. And that's it. Well, some people don't know. Can you realize there are some people that go to the bathroom, guys and girls that pee. When they come out of the bed, they're still wet. They didn't finish. <laughs> you, you know, you know it. Oh, there's something. What do they say? I turned the water on and it splashed on me. <laughs> they wash the water splashed out. You know when you finish. And you know when you've got it right. It'll feel right. Uh, you know, music is just like type. What's the difference between a bunt? or a piece of graphics and music. Music is placing sounds in their proper order so they're pleasing to the ear in our society. Right? And now we just, now you listen to music and you turn you tell your kids to turn it off. It's too noisy. And they'll tell their kids and they'll tell their kids. So what is the dif what is the difference between the both of them? Graphic design is placing things in their proper order so they're pleasing to the eye. And by the way, I can tell you all how to write a bestseller book and even write the best-selling piece of music that anybody could ever hear. I can tell you how to do it. I give you the keyboard. It's got all the, all the notes in the music. Put it together, make it right. I give you the dictionary, write a book. There's the words. I give you the alphabet, put it together, design it. And you can't lose. This is all right, you're good. What do you want to show me more? Um, I just, this is sort of just different sort of states of it. I, so what's happened is sort of like telling me how to type it, typeface it. I, the typeface is doing it back. It's like this doesn't look right. You need to fix this. I don't. I don't really know that. So. Well, it doesn't look right because it's space like crap. Right. That's fair. I put this together before we got here as quick as possible. Let me so see. Unfortunately, yeah. so I didn't have a. Well, let's go to spacing so you all get the picture of spacing. It's impossible to space two letters badly. One's over here. One's over there. If you like it that way, fine. You put them closer, it's not bad. Any way you put two letters, it's a third letter that makes it bad. Watch. I put this here. There's the second letter. I put this here. Here's the third letter. Well, I'm going backwards, so we'll go for some, so that you can see it. 
There's the first letter, there's the second letter. They asked you to put this in. You put it here, it's too close. Mm -hmm. You put it here, it's too far away. The yeah, idea is to center that one. So you always center the second letter. And you only space three letters at a time. Once the rhythm starts, you keep it the same. A is to A is B is to B, C is to C. Mm -hmm. So if I put these like this way, and I say, you put this down, you put it over here, get out of my studio. <laughs> you're blind. <laughs> I mean, you're just blind. So I say, oh, I can fix it. What, are you crazy? So, well, so you put this in, now where's the next one? You have to say this, so now that I've done that three, I know the formula, so when I see this kind of shape with this kind of shape, and it repeats itself, I do the same thing. Now let's look at this. Look at the word B-R-O. You see the hole in the R in a, You see it? Well, what do you do? So if you move the R, you screwed it up. It's the O that's the killer, but you still have to start from the beginning. So look out when you pee. Thank you. You are very much. Thank you. It'll work. Remember, trapezoid. Trapezoids. Okay. Am I spending enough time with anybody else? You can come home with me. <laughs> Do you want some water? Yes, Do you want wine? Do you want some meat? Pizza? That's good. It looks like Corvinus. Anybody have a computer? Look up I do, yeah. Look up the whole page right now. How do you spell? C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-R-C-O-
So can I specifically, I think what I was reacting to is the heaviness of these serves. Well, you don't want it on the right. I'm going to fix it. So would I cut some off of the serif here no, to open that space? Not really. So after you, we had already an hour. So after you, we take a 10 minute break. Okay. In other words, yes. that thing is good. But you're missing the line. You have the line on some of them. Yeah. 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 Straightest picture on earth. Here's a straight one. Kind of serve, just a straight one. We're going to make a round and make sure it goes over there. Great. We just launched this on the round. In other words, the straight hand, if, you, if it was put on a scale, the weight and you would need to, this one would weigh less than the other. We've got to get the weight back. Uh, 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 and you go in here.
Sure. Look, it's like this shape. Let's see. You can't make a scene that goes like this. It's too short. Look, C, short. Manage to form it. Just the line. Yeah, almost. And I've never been in there. Just a little piece. Ah. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Now, things on the bottom have to be bigger. So the thickness of this has to be heavier than that. How much heavier? I don't know. It's like a... Uh, it's like cooking. How much soil do you put on? My grandma used to be a great grandma, whatever. How much do you put on? I don't know. I just put it on the edge. That is cooking. This is very funny. Do it on the lens of your camera. I don't know. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know. I I didn't I Now we're going to increase the weight to this fat. What are you going to do? Put it right here and say that's it? It's stupid. It can't be an A. So what you do is you take that A, which you want to look like this. And you're going to make it happen. So here we go. Get this heavy over here, that's all right, we're still on okay. Inside, you have to start here. Okay, we got it. But some people think that you have this heavy. You want to make it heavier. You just put it inside. Or they think you put it outside. Now we'll let letter come to be so thick. This is the thickness of the letter. You can't really make it much thicker than that. And that's what you can do with the S. You take that thickness. You can come out right. So anyway, I would prefer it. That's good. The weights are not that I almost heard of the cutting of that <laughs> so after you and how we so that in the end, okay? Is that the way that you want so close to the cap? I think like the lower end of 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 the Needs to be optically wider. Took away. Probably adding up. It took away this part. Look. 
Typeface that has like you know, that, uh, a little bit of you know because of the thick and thin. Where's that look of holding a pen and just going around yeah. like this? Yeah. The only trouble is my, selling it is going to hurt you. But who cares for selling? It's just like no, it's just for love. We do this for love. So I don't know when you get a divorce and there's money. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? How's it going to help? Hello. Hello. Perfect example of the cross. That's going that's heavier than that one. If I turn it this way, now that one looks heavier. You can see it. If you can't see it, you're tone deaf. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people are tone deaf and they don't know it. Are you tone deaf? Uh, no, I think I don't I'm mean not. That. No, I don't mean yeah, that you're a singer, but you sing my country yeah. tears of these weeds. Let go. You're on. No, I can't sing, but I, I think visually I'm... You're all right. All right. I was in your class. I know you were. I remember you. Thanks. I'm trying to take you out and have an affair with your aunt. First of all, it was great and perfect. So I have to. Because I was working at I don't look at things this small because nobody reads that that small. Once I get some of this small, I don't want to read it anymore. It's a little small. Does anybody know that you have two calls? It's nice. It has a very even pattern. What do you call it? It does not have name yet. It does not have name yet. The who? You ever hear of a group called the who? The rock group, the who. They were getting together when they met in Korea. And the name of the group wasn't the who. It was called the Pygmalion. And the guy said, the who? And that became the name. Pygmalion is, I don't know what that's like. A play, you know, a play, like a Broadway show. Okay, I like it very much, but I tell you, this is one of two letters I heard. One of them is a yes, and you know it. It's too narrow. Yes. It's too narrow. It's not yet. It's not full enough. I'll tell you why it's not full enough. Yeah, I'm going on the rounds. And like, small. And it isn't heavy enough. And in the middle. You can use the S with an E. If I put the S next to the E, the S is going to look too small. I don't want to cut the paper. You can cut it. I can? Let's do it. Can I cut it? I'm not going to holler. <laughs> Yeah. 
It may not be small, but it looks small. It looks like it needs more. You know, you to fix it. I have to pick it up, I got to Better than before. Let's take a look at it here. Yeah. You can see it on this one, right? Yeah. 
small. Small, I can see. Yeah. Maybe not to be a little taller, which I was trying to do. <laughs> get the S over again, do it over again. Is that okay to uh, higher than other overshoots? Yes, we if, it's, if, it, if it doesn't look right, do what it takes. It can be bigger. All the rounds should be the same height, all of them. And all the straight should be the same height. What do you do with an angle like this? Uh, um, I, I don't know. It's a, but it seems to me that the, the original letter is that the U is not right. It's made from Kazlan. Uh, if I were doing a U, I would do that. Don't keep this angle. Yeah, keep, keep that right. You see, people don't realize that they think that an N is a U upside down if you, if you don't take them off. It isn't. See, in other words, if you take the N, what is that? Garbage? Yes. Oh, yes. We'll pick it up. At the end, taking the serifs off, the U, it's not. The U is made separate. It's set that tight boundary. They're looking for a new uh, shortcut. So they stole the letter N and turned it upside, turned it upside down and went to the U. So I would fix it. So all the letters are good. So where you got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That's enough. The end is out of whack. I can't see where it even fits the alphabet. Now Bedoni did the same thing. Let me show you this. Bedoni in his italic did this. This looks a little bit too wide. I would, I would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Every letter, every letter, including the P. We got A, B, C, D, E, F, F, G, H, D, H. Without that, I, I, J, and so forth. But when he got to the W and B, the B and the W, somebody else did it. Look what the B looks like. <laughs> and he made the W saying they took away the curl for whatever reason because he didn't do it. Look like, 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 hey Melvin, come here, finish the letter. The guy cut it out because this was the look that everybody was doing. But this was the W. It was unbelievable. Take a look. And the next person, you got it's good. Do it. Do it. Let me see the caps. Let me look at those caps. I'm having a lot of trouble with that. Especially P. You need proportions of the P and C. Don't end it like that. End it this way. What? Solve your problem. I'll do a Bedoni one so you can see. Stop. Don't go all the way. In other words, if you're going to do this in your letter, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Tori, now what do you call here? What do you call it? What's your name? No, Dory. Dory, that's a very... Dory. Dory is a good name. Toy. Dory. Yeah. Yeah. Dory. Yeah. Dory. Yeah. 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 Dory. 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 Irish. Call it whatever you want. I want to look at it. Because when you finish it, you need to get my email. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I have more people? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Um, Hi, I'm Ryan. Ryan, you're Ryan. Oh, you know this piece of tape? Not personally. Well, I do know this piece of tape. This tape is based on my sex life. It's amazing how a piece of tape can affect your whole sex life. And then my wife and I got married. We had a kid, a little boy, who's older than I am now. <laughs> my wife and I wanted to you know, get around a little bit. Was, our kid was always nudging. I mean, yeah, yeah. So my wife made a piece of tape that went like and rolled it. And she gave it to my son and he could call it for an hour. And he took moving it around, from one thing into the other. Big piece of, you know, like a ball of tape. And the kid had all over his body. Uh, help my, sex life. <laughs> my wife also did something else for my kid. He became a Britain genius. The, uh, the commissioner of New York City Ports and Terminals. He designed South Street Seaport. He designed River Cafe. Many good stuff. She, when he was this big, I knew you married. Your children? Well, children learn quickly and fast, provided you give them something to learn. She put a linoleum on the floor, a map of the whole United States with its cities, states, rivers, and everything, so he can drive his trucks, his toy trucks. And one day he came over to me and said, Daddy, do you know there's a place in the United States you can stand and be in four states? He could you what? He was able to recite every capital. He knew it by heart. So that's pretty, putting a map on the floor. What about the alphabet and words? Words. The drawers she put the tags, you know, these tags that look like this. All the string set on its socks, uh, pants, handkerchiefs, on it. He started, you know, what's in the drawer? It's a handkerchief. So, you know, like, you know, read it. And he learned how to read. Read words. The mathematics, one and one cards. One that my wife made squares. Photo steps one, one with a plus and a line, two, two, three. And the alphabet, the lettering had alphabet wallpaper. So she alphabeted the whole room. And he was able to recite the alphabet. He finished grammar school uh, faster than any kid in the history of Brooklyn, New York, and went to high school and graduated from high school when he was in the That's pretty damn hip. Now he's a mental case. Really, he's a mental case. When I say mental, his whole brain, he says to me, Dad, he's in North Carolina. He has more information, useless information in his brain than anybody on earth. Useless. And I say useless. I want to know how many, uh, how many ants crawl around in a, in a pizza parlor in New Jersey? Maybe in the street. He'll tell you. But it's not useful. We've been whacked out to the brain. You know, all the people say that they're, 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 they're all time as a memory and all that goes. It's not going to get overloaded. You're computing it. They get overloaded. It's too old. All this can make it. It goes crazy. They wind up. Yeah, and they get lost when they first sign them up. Sometimes they drive the cutter with them. The airline pilot does a very useful thing to a man. What is this based on? You must have it based on something. Yeah, uh, this is a uh, sort of loose revival of a Spanish type called the Texto Gordo by Antonio Espinosa. I'm not Spanish. I just saw this in an update book and I really liked it. Uh, they aren't are different than the regular ones. There's not too much now. And I know the one is small, but the two is small. It has to be an hour to the front and I'm trying to nail it. I'm taking a Gaudi or a Garamond. Do you have it any bigger? Uh, no. Sorry. 
what's the purpose of this? Um, I'm trying to set headlines um, in the magazine. It's like a lot of type of you know, type of I don't see the whole case with the caps. Yeah, I'm showing them. Yeah, you got to get this thing working better. Right now it's uh, it's based on a common denominator almost every day. You got to get it out of the ground. So the way to do that is on the back of the I'm going to give you two short examples. You have a pencil? Anybody got a pencil? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Oh, mechanical. Do I do anything? You know he's going to sell on eBay. What? Right after here, he's going to sell this on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> so I got mine. I bought it for him. I can't see it, take it, I can't see it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to put a word in the letter here. A. I'm going to put a small letter here. This is what you have, a music feature. Um, this is yours. What I want you to do is this. Oh, John. He was like, either you go for it, but we're not going for it. I want you to raise the XI lowercase so that when you have a word, you can write it straight to the center. So now you have the. Get that X height up there, in the lower case. Now there's two ways of doing it. Now if you just blow it up, you lose. Yeah. The blowing it up is going to make the letter heavier. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's no good. Yeah. I know someone has that on the tombstone. That's not good. Uh, WC Fields has on his tombstone. I told you no one was home. That's <laughs> <laughs> nailing it. Okay, let's, let's do this this way. We're going to ask you to we'll make the lowercase bigger. All of them, and keep the weight the same. And that doesn't mean on your computer that you do this with it. <laughs> reproportion, how it's a vertical, vertical reproportion. No, it's a game you have to play. Right now. Right now, when we put this next to this, this is what you've got. Which is fine. Fine, but it's not going to get anybody, it's not going to give anybody a mental erection. It's going to do anything. It's like having jello and putting milk in it and try to fool everybody. It's whipped cream. It isn't whipped cream. So now we're not. <laughs> This isn't solving it, this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. You do the tape, okay? I'll give you the tape. So take this down and I'll do it to the base. I'll hold it and take it. You're right over here. The bottom is all on the home screen. Yeah. Oh, you know the 
text. I already knew the type of text, but it wasn't as red yet. And so my friends was just like, oh, if you've got a few shots of the video, you know, I'd love to use it. I was like, oh, well, it's not good, but you can't do it. Oh, my way, fine. And so, you know, it's not good. I'm going to go to the left. Yeah, that's true. There's no, like, official, like, you know, that's what it's like. Don't try to tear just like all things. Okay. Okay. Thing was what we're doing. We have to cover the middle up so let's cover some middle up. Yes. Oh yeah, I sure. Just the straight shot down. What is it? No, no. Put your stick right in here. Wait a minute. Like how far away? Anywhere. Now we have some white space in there. trying to cover the whole thing. So like in the action. Okay, Oh, no. I see what you mean. What you cut that in, right? And here's what we want to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the NES program. I don't think it's very fair. That was nice to get to get rolled. Uh, yeah. Now, but it's the difference, you've got a new client here. You see, you raise that X height up, which made the letter that you're doing. We have this. Now we have that. It's a new alphabet. And, well, and you have to do the same thing with the, with the italic. Yeah. Who's the italic? <laughs> What's it for? Uh, no. Let me tell you what it's for so that you know. It's a safe paper. It takes up less room. Yeah. I mean, why would you want to emphasize something that way? If you want to emphasize it, put it in another weight. Or make it a little, a half a point size larger. Because italic screws your eyes up. You got to pay them. You don't need it. The only reason why I would invent the italic is to save paper. It's more condensed because you see, ABCD all the way up to M goes here. And yours goes up to here. It's longer. It shouldn't be the same. If you had a computer on that you have a computer with you? No. Anybody have a computer? If you had a sub couch in 540, you'll see it. Paper was expensive. Couch on 540 and I tell. Okay, it's a good find. But, but you have to make it look different. There's other ways you can make it look different too. You can make some tricky letters. For example, 
You can take the H. You make an E out of it. I don't know what words I would have to take, John. <laughs> John, it looks nice, okay? <laughs> Thanks, sir. Next person. I hope I helped a little bit. Oh, definitely. I think you got a punt if you do that. Yeah. Thank you. Roger. What's your name? Roger. 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 You're big. Are you married? No. That's it. You gotta find a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it's um, uh, Rotas, inspired by the Bureau Rotas and the uh, Bureau Rot Rotas, the font. Where what part of French are you from? Uh, not French, I'm Swiss, uh, from Geneva. Geneva? Yes. So we have the Swatch Watch company that makes Swatch Watches there. Yeah. And they have a special company. Rolex? <laughs> no. Swatch? Swatch. Yeah? Swatch? I don't know. Oh, We're having a good time so far. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with this? What's your name? Roger. Uh, Roger. Jose? Roger. Roger. How do you spell it? R O G E R. Roger. 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 <laughs> My name is Wilco. Ah, that's not true. <laughs> get it. It's all right. I have fun with this. I like you. The alphabet is very, very nice, but you don't have the right proportion. Uh, did you look at anybody, anything to do this? No. You no know, look. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, accident protest. Uh, what did you look at? Accident protest. Accident. And the uh, bureau protest. Accident protest. And what else? Your style? No, bu bureau protest. Uh, German style. What's your name again? Bureau protest. It's, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm no, no, no problem. Please forgive me, I'm not familiar with you. You're, you know, I'm familiar with uh, action and your test. You have to have a little bit of understanding of history. You see, Germany takes great pride in thinking that Mettinger and that whole group were brilliant. They were idiots, because my best friend is, is Mettinger. I, I, I know him like, I, like a brother, he's dead, of course. I don't want my brother to die. Uh, the United States, while the war was going on, there was a company called American Type Foundry, and they designed many, many plants. Franklin Gothic, which is the true basis for Helvetica, an accident in the desert, and all of those beautiful Swiss Gothics. Germany, uh, Russia had beautiful plants, <laughs> Switzerland had beautiful plants, but they were too busy uh, in their country trying to shoot planes down because they needed people to work in the bank. And, you know, uh, it's a whole story. Now, this is, the alphabet is nice, I just understand something, I find nothing wrong with it, I find letters that hurt me, they disturb me, yeah. it's like food. Sometimes you have something that tastes very good, all of a sudden, oh, what happened? What, what's in there? And you get or a beautiful salad that there's something bitter. You don't know what it is. And you know that it didn't taste right. And then you look at what, what, what happened? And you get upset. There's certain things in here are disturbing. And everybody knows it except you. I'm going to hold it up. And let you see it. The first thing that disturbed me very, very strongly is one letter. What is that G with that little hook sticking out there? It's like somebody came up and made a C. Put a hook on it. That's not, that's not, that's not in, in action in short, that's Okay, that's one. The other one that disturbs me very, very much 
was a lowercase g that is going, oh my god, what is that? Is it a three? No, I did a fun called the ugly. It was called, I called it ugly. Early ugly. Uh, and it had a g in it. And everybody liked it because it had an ugly G. In other words, they said, well, that's a good funny, a funny G. It's a funny G, that's a good letter. What are funny letters? Let's look at funny letters. And people go crazy. Why do you want to make an A like this? It's normal. So I would come along and say, well, I'll make an A like this. And it's not normal. I'll go ahead. Why would you make a B, a C, a D, a D? Why would you make an E? That does this. When you can make an E that does this. That's funny. Funny. It's not right. Then they make an F like that. And then you say, well, G, you don't make it. You make it. Leave the G alone. It's a G. <laughs> if you want to make it crazy, don't you make it like this? It's pretty funny. <laughs> and then it becomes a quirk. You know what that means? Quirk, the whole thing. You don't want to do that. We got a quirk going on here. Did you see that G? Did you see that G? So everybody's just, hey, did you see that G? Let's use that alpha. Let's use that. It's very beautiful. Okay, let's fix it. It's too small to look at. The C is doing this. So to me, it's like, I'm going to exaggerate it. Like a present. What? Like a present. Rectal? Well, it was I did. But the C is made from an O, but it's not just cutting the corner. It has to come in, but you went in too far. You went in too far. So the C is to cut that part of the green design. The M. Oh, yeah. It has black spots. Where they caught. And all oh, the S is funny. The J is funny. It's too narrow. And the numbers don't go with the alphabet at all. If I have a number, if I have an alphabet and this is the zero and that's the O, something is wrong because if I have a job that says 1,000 balloons, this doesn't go with that. Now, it's not supposed to go with it, but not so narrow. It's squeezed. You see, it's squeezed. The numbers don't go with the, the letters. They have to fit. It's, it's hard to explain. And the small letters are too small. This way. Yeah, we should do the yeah. words. Why that funny G? I would say this much. I like it. That doesn't mean it's good. I, I like it enough to say I wouldn't work on it anymore. I'd stop. Because you could use accidents go test instead of this. Do you agree? I mean, if you think I'm wrong. No, 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 no. It's, it's true. I might even use uh, Helvetica. Or uh, Helvetica is pretty good. Uh, or grotesque. Grotesque is beautiful. Uh, British grotesque is not as beautiful as regular grotesque. You know grotesque? Yes. Gorgeous. Uh, for that matter, Max took grotesque and accidents grotesque both of them, to make Helvetica. And he, and he worked for the foundry, and after he finished, him and Herman, Herman somebody, I forgot his name, they fired him for finishing. That's all, goodbye, goodbye. He never got one penny of royalty. He got $5,000 for working for one year, and he took a job in Basel. You know Basel? Switzerland. We come from the French part. It's like Bal in French and Basel in German. He went to. He became a window trimmer, and I went to visit him, and he took me to the river. You know where the river is, where the bridge, and the boat. 
went back and forth from one site, and I said, how did you do that? On a wire. You understand what I'm saying? The, the tide is blowing this way, and the, they put the boat and went across on the wire, on the cable. The boat in the water, you know what I'm talking about? And he copied the grotesque, accidents grotesque, added weights, one weight alphabet. He came to New York to see me, with Herb Ballin, he came here, and uh, everybody in my company said he's going to kill me because I drew 75 Helvetica's. It took me two years because the president that I worked with in the company said, Helvetica's going to be popular. Your job is, is to draw it. So I traced it and traced it and traced I could have gone to jail. It was such a terrible job of work hard. But uh, may I make a suggestion that you try to make a fun that uh, I'm going to look more at the are in. So we don't want any of these two. These two have to You don't want them down. You have to I think you've got something here, but it's too small to see. It's black spots. Spots. What are you going to do with this when you get rich? No, it's, uh, it's for me. It's for uh, making poster. For what, Vicky? Why don't you use accidents for pets? <laughs> Try this. What is your name? Roger. 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 Try this. Take accidents for pets and change it to you liking it. Now, in the United States, we had a man, and everybody knows him, called... Uh, Leonard Bernstein, right? A great, a, re, a great conductor. In the New York Symphony Orchestra, he used to play Beethoven and Bach. And he would say to the audience, ladies and gentlemen, I am not copying exactly the way Beethoven wrote it. I am making believe that in my body, I am Beethoven. That Beethoven is in me, sending a message to fix it, to make it better and make it better. Now, what do you think a 740, you know, 747 airplane, 760, what do you think it is? It's nothing more than that airplane that the Wright brothers first built. Now, if they would leave it alone, there would be, you know, the Wright brothers, the airplane, the Wright brothers, they sat on the wing. Well, if they left it alone, there would be 350 people sitting on the wing of a Wright brothers airplane. So someone says, why don't we put a wheel to steer it and put a suit so you don't have to sit on the wing? Oh, good idea. They change it. So everything changes little by little. So change, what do you think? Aerialism. A change from Helvetica and actually to the Franklin Gothic. What's the difference between aerial? There is Helvetica. He was Franklin Gothic. Here's Gil. <laughs> and here is Ariel. Coming off around. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this. What is this? Gil, what is this? Are you sure? It's the same thing. Yes. So why don't you just take action and grotesque and fix it? Like 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 like, like Max Medinger took action and grotesque and he made Helvetica. You take action and grotesque and make it Roger. 
Okay. Roy Jack. Roy Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Another. Speak Spanish? Uh, yeah, that's a what nice. language do you speak? French. Chevrolet <laughs> Poupé? Jack of Blue Marais? You know, my, you know, my uncle, once removed, was the Prime Minister of France, my uncle. Yeah. His name is Mendez France. Have you ever heard of Mendez yeah. France? He told the country to stop playing with wine and go into dairy. <laughs> and they got rid of it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Don't do that. What? Uh, Marvin Kaplan walked around this with a lot of fancy in his mouth. He walked out the door, someone came in here, boom. And he had a voice, oh, he got a voice box. So he kept like that. I've become Darth Vader. Javier. Hi, you're the same guy from France, from, from Switzerland. Yeah, I'm also from Switzerland. They come together, is that fair? Yeah. So like Gil, Yeah, Gil, Futura, Geometric, and Sharper. You want to raise the X height, the lower case. Raising the lower case. Yeah, these tools are too still. Yeah. There's a lot of corning and uh, spacing mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to quit size it. It's bad in space. Very open. Very open, yeah, too. Very open. Uh, the letter form itself designates the space. Each letter has the same to you. I would like to be spaced nicely. One letter. It's impossible to space two letters bad. I said that earlier. Yeah. It's three letters. So if you look at three letters, they look very nice because they're spaced nicely, but they're too far apart. I know what you've done. There's several letters in the alphabet which confuse many people, but then for years, we, the letter U, which is not a, a, a U at all, based on the N. Most U's are N's turned upside down. Uh, some other is Gil, some other is Futura, Rena. Rena kept it straight. Rena was, it was a drug addict. Uh, Oh, really? Yeah, in those days, many people were drug addicts. Cocaine was free. And Coca-Cola was cocaine. Did you know that? Coca-Cola, when it first came out, was cocaine. Did you know that? Yeah, they also had alcohol in it. The yeah, first Coca-Cola. Coca it was a secret formula because in those days, they had cough medicines. And, and a guy would go around in a little wagon and sell you. And who were the people that took the drugs? Women. Women, farmers, these women lived on a farm for, for years, all alone while their husband was getting laid in a bar in Indiana. You know what I'm talking about? These women had all these kids. Anyway, Brenner was a little lush. His son was good. Sorry? His son. Well, William Caslon's son was better. Anyway, Brenner was um, great. Okay, you got this nice. I like this, but watch out. Here's what you have to watch. The corners. I'm going to put a circle here. Black spots. And is he in the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I feel like that's a great thing about you. So you got to Don't worry, nothing can come near it because the Q. You never touch it. I was just like, oh, well, DQ from Grand Rapids, I can surely do something. Better Wi-Fi. Better Wi-Fi. Right, yes. Yeah. Or I hope so. We got to switch to constant. I want you to know that if you had another weight, you can't put a point on it. Uh, if you made another weight of this alphabet, you can't put a point on it. Because Futura only has the points in two weights. The regular weight, the medium, and then the bold. Mm, you mean, yeah. How about, yeah. Points. So, so, you can only do this weight. Only this weight, yeah. Okay, if it's good. You can't have to cut it again around here because it's too close. No more. That's why Puglia made a piece. 
pretty good. Yeah, 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 points on that line. Have to make the letter wider. Anyway. I think it looks nice. I, I, I'm going to make a suggestion to you. Make the L a little more, a little bit. Right. The places that you see your type yeah, it's, yeah. it's so small. Yeah. It's a shame. <laughs> we can make this bigger. Um, yeah, I'll try to get this guy. Right, well, I'll go 125. Yeah, definitely. Good That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping my print is not really good, so maybe I'll see that. Thanks. Uh -huh. I'll print you on Facebook. Get those O's to be round. That's a look. Rounder? Oh, I already hit. Oh, I hit. For display purposes, it looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah. See what I mean? It's pretty. Let's try Wider on the bottom. The circle. Okay. You the circle. Mm -hmm. You can't make it come in now. You can make it come in now. It's going to have more as far as it's going to have two point eight inches. It's bad in here. You know, mm -hmm. they're fixed. All right. Make them all like that. Sure it has to have really the edge. Then watch the trapezoid. Well. You went too far in. Mm -hmm. You understand? You see, you're doing this. It's too far. You have to come out a little more. Okay. The G, come on, trapezoid. This is from the old days of metal. Make sure it's not black in the corner. The M is too narrow. It has to look like this, but it, not that. This and this and the U should be the same. Of course, this is the different U, which is fine. But it's a kind of black. If it was sending a message, it's going the frequency is coming out. It's like when you put a bunch of squares on the wall, there's blocks that your eye sees. Make a Y like this, too. Yeah. <coughs> Have both. I forgot to do it. Can you get the X height bigger? So that when you have a lowercase letter, I'll put the A over here. I'll put a, an E over here. And the E. Right now you're, let me see this. Yeah. So I think it's, it's too small compared to, the, compared to the caps. Yeah, you want to get it bigger. People are into X height bigger. Yeah. And this way they'll use lowercase. I have a theory. I do a lot of motion picture titles. We never use lowercase for the credits. We try to keep working because there's too much jump. Uh, the descenders, the ascenders, and all of that. 
Uh, we keep, we, use, we, we have our time to look like this. Uh, it used to be this way. Right side is just <coughs> now it's this way. It's a gutter <coughs> running down the center. I don't know whether you know what I'm talking about. It goes like this. These are words with the gutter in the middle. Mm -hmm. See, so yeah, that's the center. And the idea is we never use upper and lower case at all. So the capital letters, uh, on the computer they tell you if you're using a computer, you should never use caps, it's shouting. <laughs> to me it's not shouting, it's the way you make them. When I send an email to someone, I design it. I use centering, I, I, I make it like a layout. <laughs> and I use caps, I don't know. I'm saying your name, I put it all in caps. Hello, Bill. And I put hello, Bill up there. I want the yellow stuff. I lock the yellows in. I also do bi form. And that's another thing you want to do. You know what a bi form is? This alphabet needs a bi form. I'm going to write her bi form to show you what it's like. Every letter that I'm going to put the whole. Every letter who has an ascender and a descender changes to a cap. Here's a bi form alphabet. A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, O, B, like mixing caps and no. <coughs> now I'm going to understand here. If I was to do your name or anybody's name, just say my name, I would go E. I can't use a cap. I must always use lowercase. But since the lowercase has a descender, I switched D. Now I'm going to use a W. Just I don't know what it is. It's a lowercase or cap because they're both the same in lowercase W. And an A would be this, and an R would be this, and back to the capital B. So you only have to draw a few letters, and I'm going to, I'll tell you what they are. You have to draw the B, the D, the F. You have to draw a capital F to go with the lower case. You know, follow me? The, the, you see, if you take a lower case and raise it to the cap, it's not going to be the same. So if it had a bi form, uh, you would have a double use for the letter because it's you can design it. You follow me? What's your name? You want to print Zader. it? How do you spell it? X A V I E R. X A V. Well, the capital letter and the small letter I is the same because it has a dot I E R. E R. This is nice to look at. your name. Whereas normally in caps it would be X, A, V, I, V, e, R. Now of course, if it's your name, it would have to be a capital letter at the beginning because it's your name. So if my name is Edward and I did it over here, I would, I'm afraid I would insist that it was a product that you started this way. Okay? That's a good alphabet. Also the numbers, be careful. You, they, they don't work with the lowest with the caps. Do you know what numbers are for? Numbers are for, for a train schedule. Every letter is the same width. That's why they put a, a tail on the one and not at this. This is really a one. But they put a tail on it. And in Europe, I used to I went into a restaurant, I had uh, orange juice in France, and they did this. I thought I said, what is that? I thought it was a seven or half. It's a seven. Mm -hmm. uh, this is some of the letters that are missing in the, on, the, on the alphabet are the, 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 the Z that goes like this and the 7 that goes like this in one more letter. 
with. You say you have bacon, eggs with bacon, eggs with cheese, eggs. With, so you should create, you should create a thing that looks like this. That's a new mark. I'm using it now. <laughs> it's trademarked new. right now. It just trademarked that. Just, no, but really, they just started putting it in. <laughs> like this, of course, is Makes sense. And this is width. So if you want to, you know, if you're going to have a, a typography and you go to a restaurant for breakfast or something, and it always says two eggs, any style, with bacon, with cheese, with ham. You know, and we always yeah. see it. Yeah, they, always, they always put down width. And we don't need that. There's your mark. So design <laughs> <That's> a <good. laughs> Now this, you know, put it into the fire. If you and, and if you use it several times, and like you, know, you have a project that is very successful, you know, everyone is going like, to say that Javier design uh, a mark. I remember the first menu I did. Was very, uh, it's not, it's not works for right? <laughs> Balsa Bar. No, it's downtown. We put the price first and then the item. And the price first and then the item. Price first and then the item. Whereas normally speaking, the item is always the price way yeah, down exactly. there. Yeah. So, and then Herb said, why don't we leave the dollar sign? We don't need a dollar sign, just put a number. And people didn't really, you've seen men, you just yeah. have a number. Like they have, it looks like this. I'll take the number 10. Put a six, <laughs> and then they, they tell you what it is. And then they put a nine over here, they tell you what it is. I said, what the hell is that, Herb? He said, I don't know, we'll see what happens. And everybody liked it. <laughs> We went in a restaurant called oh, the world, Spencer Restaurant. And we did the menu for them. I forgot, I'll think of it later. I'll tell you I'll tell you an out time is joke while I'm here. Uh, this young couple, this old couple, really old man. Uh, they went to the doctor, kept forgetting things. And the doctor said, write everything down. And we know that in the graphic art, you write everything down that has to be done. Because sometimes people record, uh, type shops record, and, and, and uh, so it's, uh, what do you call it? The studios, like the alley studios. You, you record, they even have my cameras around the damn place to make sure everything is done according to oil. You don't know what that means or something. So there's two old people the doctors are looking. Have a trouble with your memory, write it all down. Don't forget. So anyway, they get home and they're in their living room and he says to his wife, sweetheart, I'm going in the kitchen. Uh, would you like some ice cream? She says, yes. Can you put some whipped cream on it too? And she says, yes. She says, write it down. Right? He says, I don't have to write that down. I can remember whipped cream and ice cream. And, and uh, ice cream with whipped cream. And she said, don't forget, make sure it's chocolate, not vanilla. Okay. All right, about 20 minutes later, he comes out with two plates of bacon and eggs. <laughs> and she says to him, so where's the toast? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to see somebody else. Yeah, yes, mine. So, um, it's mine. My, my typeface. So, um, this is a, a revival. I found the type specimen. Um, uh, from it was done from 1917, and uh, the nice thing that like you now I like about this typeface is that it has this kind of uh, all, um, alternate um, initials, and um, so it's like anchos. Like yeah. yeah, it's anchos, but because it's like you no know, decor, so there's like also a bifold too. It's got a bifold. Yeah, it doesn't have to say a. Not all of them. I mean, like the, 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 some of them. Yeah. So, um, so it's, it, in a sense, it has like the kind of you know, optima, you know, quality, and. Uh, well, it's a, like the thing I was talking exactly. about. Exactly. It's the one you mentioned, like, and I was saying, I should you not know, show him. Is this an accident right in there? No, yeah, I, I, there was a nick, uh, but you know, if you if you look at the at the, the boat, they have you know the, all the uh, some of the the create a kind of three dimensional. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's. it's, it's I just you know what I don't like the spacing because I think you got holes all. Oh yeah, I mean I haven't done any curling. I mean I haven't done any curling. 
Um, I would make a suggestion, get the X side a little higher. Yeah. On a lower case. And also, <coughs> the weight of the capture of the lower case seems to be very pleasing. So then it's, I it's not, uh, you see, usually people can't get the, the weight to work well. Mm -hmm. And you've got the weight working well from a cap to a lower yeah. case. Is it the same? Is it exactly the same? No, they're not. They look a little lighter. Maybe they are the same. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Well, that's why it looks lighter. Maybe I don't know. So, and this is the detail. I'll say the letters that annoy me. Please. They just annoy me. Not because they're wrong. No, 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 no. Tell me. Let me get up. Yes, A okay. looks like the circle of high age. Okay. That's your head of the other one. I see a serif over here. Is that a no, it's not serif. There was a little, there was a little, you know, there. Yeah, yeah. 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 To pick up the, yeah. the way it goes. Yeah. Which is what you've got on the M's and the N's and yeah, all those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That interests me. Yeah. Cool. It's almost like a trap. Yeah, it's an ink trap. It is totally an ink trap. But it is like another that um, has... Is, is, is it okay, here's another letter that bothers me. Okay. Yes. You feel that's no, I want going, to, going to... I see it coming up too fast. It okay. It wants to lay that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Vincent. It's like the the, the, the tail is becoming like an auto. Yeah, the bottom of the C is that the same as the back block version of that? Yeah. yeah. It seems like your spacing is relatively tight. No, it's a little heavier, isn't it? It is. It's a little heavier. Now that you mentioned. Now that you yes, please. Now that you mentioned, it is. Uh, it's better, right? Got to get a little weight on just the bottom. Yeah. Also, it's falling. You think it's falling over to the right? Yeah, I thought so too. See, it's an instance not to be trapezoid a little bit. Yes, um, the capital S looks good. It's a little high waisted, but it's all right. The Q disturbs me. Why? Because it needs a little more excitement. You think so? So, the, so on the on the little. Of course. That's yeah, it. yeah. I I have done several different. Uh, in, uh, but, Slash, but I have no idea what like the Y is too narrow at the top. It almost is a straight line from here to here. Okay. It wants to open up a little more. Okay. The M is good. You have a career. The M is too narrow for the end. Okay. Right. I can't forget. Who's the E is the Q? G is, is, looks like someone took a hammer. Okay. Put a hammer over here and hit the G in. It means, it means with the O hand. Oh, 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 a little, little yeah, more. more. Yeah, yeah I think. The inside yeah. round didn't go all yeah. the way. Changed the shape. It was open more before. So. The, o, the C is too narrow again. Yeah. Oh, based on your O, the C is chopped off. Okay. It should be a little fuller. The uppercase, the lowercase. Yeah. The 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 okay. yeah, the all around. This, the G and the C are doing the same thing. Okay. This looks like some someone hit it. P is too wide. If your initials are PK, you'd be up Shit's Creek. P is too wide, the R is too wide, but the bottom the, of the R. Yeah, but the thing is that like, they have this kind of uh, hard decor proportions, so in a sense, like, the, 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 you know, they, they um, need like, to, they are originally a little wide. I tell you what, the O's are too small. Okay. The O's are too small. Maybe, I don't know. 
too they strong are. to look at. Okay, I, I, I take a look. And the numbers don't know what anything. Needs <laughs> a whole soon new set of numbers. There. But certainly the dollar sign would never go with the numbers anyway. No. Yeah, it needs to be smaller. Yeah, I mean, I did, I did um, uh, old style, partial old style, um, and I think they look much better than like no, than the, but you have to offer. Both. You have to make the numbers from the caps. You have a one, you got a two. You'd be with the question mark. Okay. What does this look like? Uh, Cyrillic. <laughs> no, it looks like. Uh, Boy, that S is bothering me. See, it's weak. Look at between that. The word is RST. You need like a more weight in the room. A little bit in there. Yeah. I like this. Very grotesque. I can't think of the name of the plot. See, this is the way that I like. The, the bow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can we try to open up also the, some of the letters? Oh, yeah, the, the, so the inside repetitions. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Sure. I will take a look at those. What time is it now? Uh, quarter to nine. Oh, good. I'll have you fine. Yeah. Anybody else I'm supposed to see? Yeah, me. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, pal. <laughs> what do you got there? <laughs> this, this is Roberto's. <laughs> this is Roberto's. Why don't you quit? Why don't you critique the show card there? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I brought. It was for you. Critique your own gift. Do you want a pen? <laughs> oh, I will. I'll, I'll sign it. I'll sign it. But uh, have you ever used an atomizer? You know, hand blown. You know what else we used to do? What? We used to lay the card down, put the brush right in the corner, and draw lines on the top of the bottom of the card. That's what I was saying in, in the workshop. That's the double rule that you need. Yeah, but this is double rule. It's hard. Yeah. I gotta use your things. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. But uh, first time Ed and I ever had a talk, I was asking, well, can you cut out letters? Can you cut out well, letters and beyond, trace around? This is beyond show card letter. Yeah. Yeah. And one each show card letter we always went their own way on their own shtick and you've got your own shtick going there. That's right, that's right. But this is, this is all like a, a Mac number four brush. Look at, look at the thins you can get out of that brush. Yeah, look at the thins you can get. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just marvel that they still make affordable brushes that allow you the thick and thin, you know, the downstroke, upstroke, and, and just like that. I know? have a student of mine who does the Turner Classic the old brush yeah. and uh, he sent me a letter the other day saying, Coach Screw, as the night he said, give me a call because we're supposed to sleep for lunch. And uh, what's happening now is they want something different. I don't they always? No, they want something different because it's just gone crazy with the brush grip. He was in my class, I showed him how to do it. Remember we had that thing going with the brush grip? Yeah. He just knocks it out, you know, quickly. With a rigger. Yeah. No, he's not using a rigger. He's using a pointer brush. Oh, yeah, that's hard, even harder. No, that's what I used to use. Well, well it's hard to do well. well. You, you can do it well, 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 but you know, as, you're doing it as an artist. You actually draw each letter yeah. Yeah. and you have the feeling. Yeah. You have the feeling of getting it to look right. right. But we don't know. He doesn't know what it's going to look like. <laughs> he makes a lowercase the wham. The cross R's. It goes crazy. Oh, wow. And now it's a paste up. You know, he pastes it all up. Yeah. I'm going on that boat ride, having a boat ride. Uh, Turner Broadcasting is having, Turner's uh, classic movie is having a, a cruise oh, in cool. the Caribbean. 
And you're going on that soon. Yeah, we're, we're paying to go on it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to see, uh, you know, the, the, all the movie stars are going to be there that are still alive, like Robert Redford, and they talk about their old movies. And that, that should be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Because I like that stage. When, when does that take place? Yeah. Sure. They went into the Caribbean, they stopped at one of the islands. Well, I'll be back here to teach June 8th through 12th, we, we 11th, uh, Cooper Union. And then there's, was, uh, Roger Black's going to organize, is organizing a conference, and some people from Cooper are putting together a program for mid-June. 